mathematics learners welcome to distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy so on today's video tutorial grade 12 we are going to be tackling question 4.1 from the grade 12 mathematical literacy paper 2 that was written in june 2023 and question 4.1 guys deals with maps and plans in particular we're going to be looking at a layout plan of a holiday resort so this topic this is a subtopic for um maps and plans okay so before we get started with today's video tutorial guys please make sure that you give this video tutorial a huge a huge thumbs up okay please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and also please make sure that you share all these video tutorials with your friends that will really help the channel grow and it will help the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks also guys if you want to be part of our online zoom lessons group please join guys we still have some seats available right so all lessons are recorded so don't worry about maybe you've missed a few lessons all lessons are still recorded you'll still get all the learning materials right and i'll still be there to guide you um if you are basically confused what's so Im what's important about basically jumping on um this wagon right now is that it's important to start soon okay don't wait until it's the week before the exam to start preparing for exam start now we are currently going through measurements after measurements we're moving on to a next topic which is maps and plans so that is why i encourage everyone if you are interested please join as soon as possible okay so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial mentioned we're going to be tackling question 4.1 and it deals with the layout plan of a holiday resort so let's have a look it says the layout plan of a holiday resort is given below the resort has a rectangular swimming pool right and it has a tennis court okay and there is an overgrown area in the middle of the resort where local wildlife can be viewed from a local a lookout point okay so that is the lookout point where you can actually just um look at wildlife okay this area is surrounded by houses so let's have a look at what is given to us here right so obviously we are told that this is just the layout plan and this layout plan um is of a holiday resort there's a tennis court there's a swimming pool there are houses that are surrounded or houses surround this lookout point okay so the key for the houses is your rectangles with the numbers here right that is the exit that is the entrance and we're also given the cardinal and we're also given a point of a compass that will help us determine the other cardinal points okay just remember i've basically mentioned that if they've already given us what is our north right we can determine the east south west by using the rhyme naughty elephant sprays water so we're gonna move in a clockwise direction and we're gonna say naughty okay elephant sprays water so you see we're moving naughty elephant sprays water we are moving in that clockwise direction and we are just adding the other cardinal points nice and easy so now we've basically added the other cardinal points we've basically analyzed the layout plan we are more than ready to have a look at the question okay so it says use information above to answer the questions that follow question 4.1.1 it says determine the local or determine the total number of houses in this holiday resort okay so i mean you can count how many numbers we have here or you can just look at the bigger number okay so i just feel like i want to count because yeah i just want to be sure right so we've got one right we've got two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so that other house there is outside there so we can see that we actually have 12 houses that are in this holiday resort okay then let us have a look at the next question it says a person standing at the lookout point okay so let me zoom it out a bit so we are told that there's a person that is standing here at the lookout point okay someone is standing here and facing north so if a person is standing there and they're facing north where is north do you see that north is in that direction okay that is the north views houses that are in the northwesterly direction 
So now, guys, how can we determine where is the northwesterly direction? So remember, I said that we can determine the other cardinal points that are in between these cardinal points, okay? So we know that, okay, if this is north and that is west, then that is the northwest direction. If that is south and that is west, that point there is the southwest direction. If that is south, that is east east that point there is southeast okay and if that is east and that is north that point there is northeast remember we start with the north and we start with the south okay to name these cardinal points okay so give the number of two of the houses he viewed so what are two of the houses that he viewed right if he views houses that are in the north westerly um direction so where is the northwesterly direction? We already know that if the north is in that direction, what is in the northwesterly direction? Do you see that it's any houses that are actually in this region? Okay. So now if he is standing there, the northwesterly direction, do you see that it's houses that are in that direction, towards that direction? Okay. So how many houses are facing the northwesterly direction? We can see that it's one and two. So that's those are the numbers of the houses that are facing the northwesterly direction okay so it's just one and two all right so let's just write that down and we are basically done so the key for this question is that if they've already given you one cardinal point that north there then you can just remember that we want to move in the clockwise direction to determine the other points the naughty Elephant, you see we're moving. Elephant sprays, we're moving water in that clockwise direction, okay? And then to also get the cardinal that points that are within these points, okay? You can just remember that, okay, you can draw additional lines there, okay? That point there is, you start with the northeast. That one there is the southeast. That one there is the northwest, okay? And then we are basically done. So if you understand this concept, which is very important when you're dealing with layout plans, you should be fine, okay? So you need to understand this concept very well. All right, so I'll see you guys on my next upload. That is it, guys, and I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys.